So you met him in January. January got engaged in April. Okay. No, you know, in May. Okay. May because got engaged in May 14, I think. Okay. May 14. Had our introduction May 31 okay. or 30th. Okay. One of them. Introduction May 30. Yeah, May 30. Then got married in November. November. Yeah. a very special episode of let's do life with atilola i am here once again and as you can see today's episode is not the usual one i am with my bosom lovely long-term friend I, I don't want to call her a friend i think that does like an injustice to it i'll call her a visionary partner a visionary alliance i'll call her a covenant a value-driven partner of mine, Ayo Myro Essay. Hey. 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 <laughs> Sorry, I'm using such you know such big words, such big terms, but that's who she is to me. She's she's not just an ordinary person. She's somebody who whose vision I support through and through because in the past she has supported my vision you know and we have come from a very long long way long time as young single girls to who we are today and i do not take her for granted Yay. i am my essay don't worry Yay. you understand what we are talking about <laughs> you understand what we are talking about by the time this like this video is over and today we are going to be talking about a very interesting topic something that you all like i'm sure you already see it like you can already see it at the bottom of the of your screen what we are talking about and it's the one year marriage miracle hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for, it's time for gisting but you know before i talk about it i'm going to talk about mine and how i came to you know encounter this interesting miracle and i is going to talk about a house and then we are going to go into deep conversations the funniest thing is that you know i got married within one year i met my husband so when you talk about one year marriage miracles it means you meet the guy or the lady cuts do introduction do your premarital counseling get married everything within one year and the first time i heard about this guess whose blog i read this on Ayo Myro essay also known as Ayo Thompson. So she had featured this interesting Christian couple. I think I don't know whether it was 2000, sometime between 2013 and 2015. Yeah. She featured them and she was like, Oh, they got married. I was like, ah, no, who wants to meet somebody? Why? Like I knew because you know, because of kind of blog, one plus the one which she was running, I knew that yes, these were legit couples because you know, for it to appear on one plus the one. I said, okay, but I'm not sure I want to meet the guy. Like, well, that's very risky. I don't think I want to do that. And then guess who met, got, I mean, cut it, got my did everything in one year? Yours truly, me. So that's how it is. And then I, in her own words, wasn't inspired by her own blog post. So she was not inspired by my own story. Like, see how everything goes around and comes around. She was inspired by my own story. And I came, I traveled, I think I traveled. I came back and I heard Aya is getting married to somebody <laughs> who was in my school and were like a sister fellow. She's like, ah. then I called her. I said, ah, how did this happen? So, I'm just going to talk about my very shortly and then she'll give us her own story because she's our guest today i met my own husband through a friend in january 2016 and then uh, we started cutting we we you know started cutting basically officially started cutting in march met his parents in met his mother in april he met my own mom too in april and then started premarital counseling in may and then we got married in december that's the long and short of my own story but because we are not here to talk about me i'm going to ask ayo how exactly <clears throat> did this happen <laughs> okay so first of all let me just say thank you atilola atilola is saying all these big words <laughs> this is your show but you know atilola is one of the 
people that I really admire. And of course, I've had the opportunity to work with you on a number of projects. So you're a powerhouse. And then we met on blog. Yes, on blog. So she used to be Atilola. Yes. Um, then what was your tagline? Something speaks. I just I can't. Atilola writes. Right. But I was a speaking because we were then launching your speaking, spoken, your spoken uh, words. Yes. So there was something yes. about I'm a speaker. There was just something fantastic. So I used to love reading her blog. It's still live, by the way. So you can go yeah. back to old posts. And then I was writing that. I was anonymous initially. One plus the one, and then I came out um, with, with my name. So that's how we met. And we did a project. She invited me on board to do Rhyme and Raising. Did it for two years, and I think I couldn't. I wasn't around for but one. Of yes, them. yes, yes. Because you had gone KLC by then. No, so no, that was amazing, no. <laughs> So I'm so excited. She's someone who is driven. I really admire that. I must say that properly. Okay, so now let's talk about it. When you were speaking, I was laughing because God has a huge sense of humor. By the way, disclaimer, please, this is not doctrine, this is not, this is, these are our own real stories. Yeah, we are going to get yes. to that later. So, um, God answers in different ways. It doesn't mean it's not him. He can answer five years, courtship, and when he hours was one, and I, I thought it was, you know, it was possible. So, and actually, it was a friend of mine who had gotten married, met, met her husband, got married, and I wrote about it. In one year and i wrote about it on the blog and then i, I remember your almost cynicism when you were like yeah right like who is and i love the fact that you're always very real without being con condescending or you if you don't agree with something you say it but you're not saying it your people i mean your heart is so un awesome honestly so people you are a sh sharp shooter so i just smile like oh okay you know which is fine and people don't have to agree then the in the <laughs> I, you know, humor of god <laughs> The person who was like raising her nose up like when you're caught, she'd be all right. God now did it for her. So when God did it for you, he then honestly like, yeah. it's the same. So yours was yes. like okay, so it's possible. And then what was the key for you was that they were not like ordinary like no, they were not, nice not forcing. Yes, 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 they're not like okay, just yes, let me manage. Yes. No, they were like quality yes, because yes. I had the opportunity yes, to be so I was yes. praying to God. I knew that quality was guys, yeah, quality guys, <laughs> quality marriages. Yes. Very just things that were like, oh, flash in the yes, pan, yes. you know, on the surface was deep. So I knew that okay it was possible and it was good and, and you could you know wrap my own. So this is how my owner line gets my story. <laughs> so I met my husband in January. So there's been a story behind that. Can I share? Of course. Story? Okay, so um in October, I don't have I ever shared this publicly, not really. I think I've shared it in private groups and all that. So this is in no intention. I, I don't have intentions to slander anyone. It's not whether you're thinking it is, it's not. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, like Jesus. <laughs> well, anyway, so there was a guy that had um, really liked and I think October of 20 let me not even give okay 2012 was when I knew that okay it wasn't those the, we just on the, a friend level the, the, and I was so heartbroken yeah um, so you know the story right yeah I'm just saying this I'm giving the pre-story so you can understand the way God works or how God can come through for you, irrespective of where you are. So I remember then, and I wanted to get married. I was 31 at this time. At that time, I thought 31 was quite, you know, because I wanted to get married. My initial plan was to get married at 23. That's Mine was 24. 24. September so 18. Oh, I don't have to give the full day. So they, but people know my September 18, actually, of that year. Why September 18? I don't know, because... Um, rain would have come down, and the second set of rain, as the second set of rain would have come down, and then close to it's not too close to Christmas. The activities are not much. Yeah. Like here we are calculating, like oh my god, four children within six yeah. years, one point five years yeah. in between. Yeah. <laughs> then by age thirty, I'll be done with all my kids. So for me, my mom is my my mom is goals for me. Yes. My mom is my, so my mom got married at that age. I love having yes. people come to school looking very young. You know, and I would be so proud to see her. Come and my mom was beautiful. What was this running at? 62. Yes. 62. Yes. But Our friends are age mates also. Oh, gosh. yeah. So, you know, they had us, and I'm not the first born. Mm -hmm. My mom has. Yes, I'm not the first born. Has, I have an older brother. Bo older brother, too. Can you imagine? Yes, yes. So I just thought. And we are age mates, like we are a few weeks apart in games. <laughs> so I just thought it was so cool. So I wanted that life, too. So I was looking to. So imagine 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, now I see it like I mean, what a joke. Thirty one, it wasn't that bad. But to ev everyone has different reasons, and that's like I'm giving my own reason why thirty one seemed like such a you know big deal. Anyways, so we went to uh, you know so afterwards I just started praying deliberately that I wanted to get married, 
And you know, usually women are being shamed, or people will not say women are shamed when you're saying I want to be like I am desperate. I wasn't desperate, I just wanted to get married. When you want to get a job, they don't tell you that you're desperate, stop praying about a job. You ask God for a job. When you are praying, you know, for a car, you don't say don't pray about a car, God will give you a car in his due season. If you desire it, you can ask. So I wasn't praying from desperation, I was praying from desire, from a place of desire. I wanted to, because I really wanted to, you know, start enjoying the benefits of a marriage. <laughs> so, um, so I remember going to camp, redemption camp, um, in December, and the uh, father in the Lord, that Joe, as he fondly called him, Pastor Deboy, would ask that we ask God for, you know, the present, you know, what, one thing we were asking from the Congress, then Christmas present, New Year present. I didn't even, there's no, I just said, husband, husband, husband. Wow. And I wanted a husband, I wanted to, like someone I was dating by my birthday, which was the 7th of January. I met my husband for the first time on the 7th of January. Are you serious? Yes. I know, we have too many things. Before. Yes. Because it was, you know, we're much late. Yeah. And the day we went to the cinema was January I remember 7th. your story. Check it, January 7th, 2016 was a Saturday. Are you for Yes, that was the first time. I, her story is actually on her blog. It's yes, so yes, I yes, that. I'll yes. never forget. So, when, so January 7th, I wanted to get married. So, coming up to my birthday, and I used to pray with my friend Oli. So, we pray about it. She was just like, I'm going to pray. And I'm like, no, both of us are going to pray for yourself. I'm not <laughs> anyway, so um, you know, January seven came, and you no, know, few a, a few days. Later, of course, you know if you're gonna have a man or not. A few days is uh, January seven. She she nothing for those who are not Nigerian speaking. Nada. So um, I was quite disappointed. You know, I was sad, but I just said, so oh, just encourage me, just do. And I had a love. My mom had you know just celebrated. I went to see my mom, and she celebrated. So I was like, okay, not too bad. But I was like, I'm just going to date on my birthday. But I'm saying this because God still answers prayers. Do you know the day my husband saw me? Gen- a friend of mine put up my picture to say happy birthday on oh, the 7th wow. of January, January, which was what I asked God for. Oh. And in fact, the guy, by the way, his name is Silas, we call him Bishop. Yes, he's my husband's friend, friend also. Can you imagine? Like, yeah, he's both he our husband's friends. I didn't even know. So, yeah. no, he met, my husband met him through your husband, actually. Oh, for real? Yes, when you guys were planning your wedding. For real? And yes. they're not close like this. Yes, That's yes, they're closer than... Yes, yeah, that my husband and I, yes, yes, yes. No, I have to collect our phone Yes, back. no, 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 no. We should be like that. I can't believe it. <laughs> so, anyways, so he put up my um, picture of to say happy birthday, and was my, he's also a you know um, romantic because he likes hooking up people, okay. and he has an eye for it actually. Wow. So he put up my picture up, and my husband was trying to call my husband with somebody else. My husband said, "Leave that one, leave that one. Who is this, this one? one? Oh, oh, wow. And then I was like, "Oh, I know how you are. She's single, you oh. know, because he knew about the yeah, guy that yeah, I liked yes. before." Yes. So he um, he was like, oh, I can hook you up. He said, I'm Nabuja at the moment. But don't worry, I'm coming to Lagos in a few weeks. I will make the introductions. But that was not patient. He entered my DM. He went on my Instagram. Wow. Went to my DM. He sticking to my DM. I would have forgotten. Oh, when? That, okay. That, later. The following week, I okay. think, was because we, we, we started the redeem fast. Okay. So I remember I was fasting because we took on my first date. So um, he sends sends me a message really late, almost about midnight. Brother in the world, what are you doing on Facebook? <laughs> Instagram in the day, sliding into my DM at midnight. Oh. Anyway, so entered my DM and um, I remember when I saw the message, I just knew him. And I was excited about the fact that, oh, oh I to my friend Oli because we're living in the yes. same um, shared accommodation yes. at work. Yes. So I was like, Oli, what are you? Oh, see, who just sent me a message. My you know when a guy sends you a message, it's not ministry message. Yeah. You know when he uh, sends you? Ah, you Of course. Ah. I was like, oh, hi. I think, no, I think he said, I was trying to be smooth. I think you put, he said, Oh, why are you still awake at this time? I was like, oh. <laughs> I, like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't even see him as somebody that can talk to a woman on, in, in, on a romantic level. You know? I see him as a very spiritual so, brother. Do you know that he, my husband actually, I hope he doesn't, he doesn't mind me <laughs> out in the secret, but my husband is actually quite shy. Yeah. But God gave him the courage. Yeah. I think when it comes to women, though, he, he knows that like, he tries to form, yeah. you know, he's smooth. Yeah. But I, I, he, I don't know. So yeah. he's. So that was how it was it. So he entered my entered my DM so, and I was receptive. So I was, you know, when Oli was excited, so he said, I said responding. I said, Are you two? What are you? We were not doing cat and mouth. Oh, okay. So the chemistry was think, immediate. Was it? It was just like we were. I was so that's something else. I wasn't interested in him, okay. right? I was, I was glad that a man like him would talk to me because okay. you know, at that time you'd have had different kinds of. Oh, yes, yes. tell me about it. Yes. So. 
this one was good. I, yeah. I didn't know anything about him. I yeah. never met him in, yeah. interestingly. Yeah. Yeah. Like I was to talk yeah. in person, even though at that time I stayed hosting. Yeah. So he sent me, so I said, then as, I think when we were getting later, like, okay, how, how about, maybe he said, ask me things around, are you really this kind of person? And then he was like, okay, how, how about we talk about it over dinner? That's how we have hey! hey! Minister Maya dropping lyrics. <laughs> so that's how we invited him to dinner. And oh, I just wow. said, like, oh, okay, no problem. I was like, oh, can we go? It was, it was as my husband was, it was quick, quick. Good, like, yes, yes, yes. You know, can we make it Thursday evening? And it was because we were fasting. So yes. he asked for breakfast or lunch, okay. lunch. And I said, no, can we do dinner? I was like, oh, wow. some men will think you are forward. Yes. Like, he said, he said, come and do lunch. Yes. But I wanted dinner because yeah, I knew I wasn't fasting. eating. Yeah. Yeah. So we went out to dinner, the first date. First date, so like, conversation wasn't bad. Yeah. You know, but I just looked at him like he was asking me things about cooking. And you know me, I'm not a very traditional person. Yes. One of the things I wanted, and you know, when I say traditional, people are like, what do you mean by traditional? But I mean, like, you know, the typical for men from our part of yes. the world, yes. you know, some of them stereotype yes. the role of a woman. Yes. And I wasn't that kind of person. In fact, my mom had. Warned me before that she stopped telling men on first date. Yes, on the first yeah, date, type of I don't like cooking. I think yes. I shared this on the blog once or so. So, but I was like, I, I wanted the man I was marrying to know me. I wanted to, him to marry me. I didn't want to hide. I felt like whoever was going to get married to me had to marry the real me. Yes. I didn't want to pretend because that'd be a life of pretense yes. and misery, and I yes. didn't want that. So I was like, just run. So that's why I even tell them on the first day. So like before you start catching feelings, yes. make sure you make up your mind. But I didn't tell him. I just looked at him. But my man had cancelled him. Like. This one so is like asking for asking cookie me, life. What do I like cooking? Yeah, that's it. I beg, I beg. <laughs> so, one thing I, I also liked was on our first date, while we're eating, we saw a pastor friend of his. Okay. Pastor Toby Popola. I, okay. I mean, that's my. Yeah, I, I don't know. like it comes to our uh, retreat. Oh, no. I'm uh, obviously a spiritual mentor. Yes. And, you know, but also beyond that, is a wonderful human being so um he came to the restaurant to pick up something he too was single at the time okay so he came to the restaurant to pick up something i think that's where you know men is going because it was a nice african restaurant that was another markdown for my husband because i don't like african food so please don't see me as some kind it was just preference based on preference now my husband has even been i like i can go to it but then i thought you know take me to some exotic you're going out to the day but i have do your research do you know what you want for your first date so sometimes your first date you might be disappointed but it doesn't mean that you should just down. cancel the person don't cancel yeah although me i canceled my mind i'll tell you how i do not i will cancel <laughs> you so um i just noticed so when we we're going to pay the waiter said oh not to worry that someone has paid for our meal so pastor toby had paid for our meal I just liked it just struck me then that oh okay i wanted to marry my i liked a man that even if you may not have a lot your future and the fact that for me i wanted the favor of god and yes. i had a god of your life was for me yes. i saw it as this man is favored well, it's not everyone yeah. that goes to a restaurant yes. and you know people just yeah we all okay and by the grace of god we will talk about the future i still see that a lot so okay. i'm grateful to god that i didn't miss that one you know that okay this man has the favor of god upon his life i would go out i don't think i'd never been on a date before where someone else paid and it wasn't as if it was planned we we're about yes. to kind of say don't worry about yes. it so has property so um yeah so when home, he was him my husband was excited in his mind as found like wow my man i'm yeah, like you had canceled so, <laughs> so after the date now he then said we're in the car he then asks me to i should take a picture wow. like but I'm sure I did show on your face. Oh no, no, I was like, no, yes, one, of, yes. one of my rules was yes. I treated everyone like yes. God's child. Yes. So I'll yes. never be rude, yes. I'll treat you with dignity. Yes. It was not bad, but we yes. had a conversation. Yes. So we took a picture of my mom and I just delete that picture. It's not ain't nothing. I'm so okay. grateful now because I have a picture of our first date to wow. show our children. Wow. You know, and our grandchildren. So I'm wow. so grateful. So thank wow. you, boo. So um so that ended. So I, I was trying not to put him away and yes. not, um, all that. Not to encourage, encourage him. him. But he was pushing for a second date. I was like, okay, let's go for a second date. Wait for a second date. That one still took me to another. I was like, what kind of. But why did you voice up? That's the thing. I wanted, you know, as a woman, now you're like, which, so I, I don't subscribe to that. Anymore. Okay. I wanted the man to ask me, you know, okay. or okay. to think. No, okay. not even to ask me. I wanted him to do his yeah. research yes. and get me a nice restaurant. Yes. The final, third date, finally, now asks me that. Apparently, it's like he doesn't do all these things that he just yes. took me to. He took me to all these bachelor pads when he yes. go and buy food that he would eat. Yes. So I was like, where do you want to go? Fine, I was like, oh, uh. <laughs> so I picked one of my favorite restaurants. Guys, are you listening? <laughs> and it was like, you know, I was like, ah, fuck well. And he took me there, you know, he was ex- he was happy. Like, oh, okay. So not knowing that me, I was I was angry in silence. He was just clueless. So please don't judge them too harshly on the first second date. Sometimes yeah. they need to. They just to. don't know. If you see my husband picking restaurants and going out now, any wow. girl who's looking at him and thinking, ah, I like this gentleman, uh, I will. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Anyway, so yeah, I went on third date and I was really so we got eased into it. Even then, oh, I was still thinking, not friends really. and uh, this guy. I was trying to find, but he was so persistent, you know. So he was always trying to get. I remember even when we was on church program, we were meant to go for him. I didn't want to go with him. So I didn't want to go to places with him to give him false hope. Yes. But he would always find. So I was trying to get my friends to go. So he, was, he invited me to come. I said, you know, that, oh, no, me and my friends were already going. So he wasn't going to go. So he just told him to come. We met, we met, that was also a defining moment for us in our relationship because you know the God spoke to us individually on the day. But me, I do not see it as husband. Yeah. In fact, <laughs> how the change, how it happened, the change came. I need to come. I wanted to go to, I go for the Holy Ghost service every month. Okay. So, when I was married, now I watch online. When you were I, single. When I was single, my sister. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so I used to go there and my mom leaves there, there too. So, so I'm giving so much information out. But um, yeah, so I, I, it's an opportunity for me to also see her bond and all that. So he insisted I wanted to go. I said, I said eh, that long trip, only me and him in the car. So that he'll be thinking that I even married. married. No, 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 no. <laughs> so I kept dissuading him, dissuading him. He said no. Until he said no that he was also planning to go himself. He wants to go on a personal retreat. I'm like, oh, <laughs> how else can I say I don't want to go with you? That's how we entered and I was not like, okay, God, please bless him. He would drop me at my mom's bed. He said he not decided to come upstairs and say what? He said that. No, no, that my mother had received song. Cause I told her, I, you know, we drink a lot. Yes. My mother was already playing this song. Yes. She had found out about him worship. Ah, oh, your mom was already in love like, on your behalf. What kind of trait is this? What kind of trait? What kind of um, treason is this? How can you? So I was screaming, I said, Mommy, don't be too nice to him. Don't be too nice to him. Oh, you're going to sit down. She welcomed oh, him well. Oh, you know, I know your son. Oh, he was beaming. Oh. Ah, but anyways, that, that was the story. So fast forward, obviously. Um, so I think that night when I was sleeping, someone just told me that whatever. My mom said she wanted to see me. And I was like, mm, that's good. She has, she wants to tell me that. Uh, she says, so just told me that whatever she says, don't argue with her. Just listen to her. And my mom was like, as she's saying now, and I was like, I'm going to Lagos now. I'm going to tell him all her that. No. Mm -mm. So she also told me that she thinks I should. She thinks she's a good guy that should give him a, a chance. I just said, mm, I'm still going to Lagos to go and break up. Well, break up break when it does not exist. Just, so this was February, right? So we got to Lagos and I think we went on a date. And then he said, I think that's when we went on that date and I said I enjoyed it. So okay. on the way back, you know, we are now free at all. Food is like yes, yes, alcohol now. for me. If you want to get me comfortable, just give me nice food. Wow. I start talking. Wow. Wow. So I, I, I just said, what do you like about me? So by the time, was my, my bubble had wanted to make a question, no, no. no. I said, pre January what? To February, first week in February. He was like, oh, you just wanted to say that. Uh, and apparently he told me that his friends, I told him that I should not make a mistake like that, but like, it's too early, it's too yeah. soon. Isha went with his dog. I told you that was that old like, marriage. Okay. Yeah, obviously, we're well, I mean, yeah. Christian, so yeah. what he will be looking at is marriage. Oh, yeah. he likes me to see. I just looked at I said, What do you like about me? What do you do? You know me? Do you know my temperament? Do you know anything? Like, he said, No, that. And he gave me an answer that I, I thought, Ah, no, respect. I respected my mom. He said, See, if God has told him to marry, we're going to have a lifetime of. If God tells him that this is the woman, we're going to have a lifetime of getting to know ourselves. So once the spiritual is sorted, the physical is the daily. Like if God says it, then there's no need to say, okay, let me still check. But I should say the one. <laughs> ah. I mean, I, I said, I'm going to deep, oh, deep. Ah, deep, we'll get into deep, that deep, later. Deep, deep. So then um, I said, okay. Anyways, me, I don't like looking okay. Can you now stop that? I said, I like that. If I said, no, 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 I don't mind. I would have known it was not. It was just answering. Yes. The fact yes. that he thought about it made me think, okay. Like, I said, okay, yeah, that's true. That he always he likes his and his mom is a fantastic cook. cook. Yeah, so he he's grown so. up eating really good food and then you know, let's say we're hoping to get by he say, well, that he would not want to lose me over food. Wow. And now melted. I think you were already on your guard because of that cooking thing. No, we go well, with it. And that's just yeah, I just thought it was down. like traditional. Yes, you know, so you were already on like, your guard from the first day because yeah, they're like, ah. My brother, yeah. I don't want to enter yeah. anyone. Me, I yeah. know what I want and yeah. you know what you want and it's okay. Yes. It's not everyone. There's some men who totally love cooking. So I feel like those men yes. who meet men yes. Yes. want that. There's nothing yes. wrong with that. So, um, yeah, so by the time we finished, we end, we end so, and that's the thing that my friend Bodam was like, went to meet. So, I was trying to get my friends to meet him to. Then I was like, ah, I use this guy that he said that. You call it, I told him that, no, no, I don't like him. Yeah. I don't like it, and he has a good spirit. So, baby, you have to thank Bodam again. <laughs> so, Bodam was like, ah, she thinks I should come and pray. So, the shepherd wow. went for me that, okay, you know what? If it's God's will, wow. that God would give me 
a desire for him that I would like him because it was okay. important. Yes. It wasn't going to be. I didn't want to force. Yes. God has to give me. Yes. And after that day, her prayer worked too. Yes. After that, right? I, I said, you like know, warming him. up towards him. Wow. To, by March? Yeah. No, by April, we got engaged. Oh, wow. I think that's when I heard about it. Yes, we yes. kept it quiet. Yes. But by then, my husband did. I had, he had to go and see some people. We went to England. Yes. We went. We was going to England, yes. but while he was in England, yes. we went to different cities to meet people that were important to me. Oh, wow. Like that impressed all of them. Wow. Your sister. Your sister's went to see my godmother in wow. Swansea. Yeah. My sister in another city. So he just went around like in Manchester. Like he went. And we're not dating, you know, but he was so into even that one. I was like, this guy, this guy. Is a, I, I don't, um, <laughs> when, when a guy wants something, mm. oh my gosh, it was very intentional. Yeah. So by April, we got engaged. By then, oh, the Valentine's Day, oh, he blew my mind. Oh. Uh, he has not. Blown but you have like not started that liking him then. No. no. Oh yeah, Valentine's Day was February. Yeah. Was a, Defining was months. a good. Yeah, yeah. Because ah, so my husband, who is very you no, know, so he starts showing me his. On traditional size, and wow. I, I, it looks like I may have judged him too quickly. Yeah, you know, he planned with my friends, wow. and then he also got to me. He became friends with my yeah. friends as yes, well. Yes, yes, he was very intentional about that yes. too. He's a friend, family person, so he would bring them out when we're going out to take them out. And I like that, you know, a woman likes to send their friends and say, nah, I like your guy. Yes, you're like, yes. Ah, so I was a proud dean. <laughs> then it was a Valentine's Day. See how short it was, and it looked like. Valentine's Day, um, he gave me a gift at the, almost on, on the hour. Different wow. places. Yes, I was working on TV then. When I was on, uh, when I woke up, my friend was like, "Oh, check here. I see a card and a gift. Wow. Was on set. Look behind your seat. Uh, uh, I see a card. See my, wow. my 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 husband. I thought it was romantic. Wow. And then in the evening, now you know, one of the gifts was he got me a dress, and I said we should go out for dinner. Like my friend helped him. He didn't know my side. Yeah. Anymore. So they helped was him. It was teamwork. It was, he oh. was, and the fact that he even worked with them was actually even special yes, for me. That yes. he went the extra mile because they showed me yes. the behind the scenes yes. video. God bless all you. You know, yes. Olive likes doing all those yes. Um, yes. Um, recording moments. Yes. So that was, I, I was really touched by that. I have to say. So men make the extra effort. So it wasn't just Bible he brought to me. Yes. It wasn't just the word of God he brought yes. to me. He was very romantic. Was very yes. intentional. He's, ah, he was a lover boy. I can't even lie. Yeah. So when he's telling me now that I took, that, I was like, "Good time. Look at me, February. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's really long because you're in a hurry." He so, wanted to get married in July. So, so when did you get married? At the end of the November. Day? November. So you met him in January. January. Got engaged in April. April? No, you know, in May. Okay. May because got engaged in May 14, I think. Okay. May 14. Had our introduction May 31 okay. or 30th. Okay. Okay. One of them. Introduction May 30. Yeah, May 30. Then got married in November. Yeah. And that year he was traveling a lot. Wow. So we, we, we were you the were first not... couple at the time wow. for COVID. Wow. I did hybrid um, okay. <laughs> um counseling. Yeah. My church wasn't wow. even going to agree. Wow. One of the pastors that spoke up for us wow. that they made an exception yeah, for because us. Because he travels a lot. Yeah. So literally he would be on, on the phone, FaceTime. Wow. And what WhatsApp video was not even wow. was it there that I can't I don't think so. I'll put it so that they can't see him. Wow. He, he and then every time they, so any question he must ask Answer. a question. Yeah. So like to show that he was participating. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Can you see? Wow. Thank you very much. I know that it could have been longer, but I know that if we make the if we cover it covers how so. you met, yeah. like we will not finish this episode yeah. at all. So yeah. thank you very much. It was a very sweet. I know we are not supposed to say sweet, but it was a very sweet story. Okay, so I want to really know how do you differentiate desperation to get married? Uh, how do you differentiate it from when God is the one truly pushing you to pray um, for this one year married miracle? Because in my own time, it was very. I'll tell you what happened. In January, I was I just accidentally attended somebody's vision board party, like online. So you this vision board, write what you want to your vision. I've never heard of it. I attended it, and then I wrote my vision and I wrote marriage. And I wrote, anything can happen in a year. I put it on my blog also. Yes, I put it, anything can happen in a year. I wrote my, that was outside to get married that year. Um, I wrote um, so many things. But all of a sudden, my eyes were just turned towards only the marriage part on the wow. vision board. Wow. So, it's happened. Yeah. But I know that it was out of desperation. And I'll yeah. tell you why. Yeah. Because 
a lot of people write it every year. Yeah. Let's let's yeah, be factual. Sure. Yeah. A lot of people write it every yeah. year. I'm gonna get married this year. Yeah. I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Yes, I'm, my they don't meet anybody. This is my. I've never. I have never done it. I'm not but it, it. I know it was God inspired. And then, one day, then we're pr planning for the second edition of Rhyme and Reason. So I met. I said I was gonna get married. I wrote it on December thirty first, and I told my friends that she should hook me up because I felt like. She and her husband, I like their marriage. Hook me up with any of your um, friends, husband's friends. And she said, okay, I'm going to hook you up. And I was going to tell her, I don't want any, it must be a Yoruba guy. Thank God I didn't say it because her husband doesn't have any Yoruba friends. You understand? And I don't have anybody that's got to my business to somebody outside. Everybody that's got to my, my family only got married to Yoruba people. So I just want to say, let's not even try. Don't let's waste our time. Please, if he's not a Yoruba guy. Don't bother. But the Holy Spirit held me back. Mm. I said, let me just go. Let me just go. Let me know. And the guy was not now a Yoruba guy. I said, okay. But what happened was that somebody in church, one of my teenagers, slit her wrist in church. And then we took her to the doctor. And, you know, in the whole process of... Oh, by the way, she was a teenage, teenager. Yes, teenager, yes. I'm a teenager. 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 So, like, we took her to the church doctor. He was saying, just to be like, ah. When I asked, so when are you going to get married? I said, don't worry, I'm getting married this year. In, I think in February. And I said, and immediately I said it, my heart skipped. Like, I was like, how could you say such a thing? I said, I'm not married yet, but I'm getting married. And I said it on my face. It was a matter of fact. I said, I already had a boyfriend. We had already picked a date. No. And my, I felt the fear just, in my, my heart just skipped. And I felt fear leave me. And I knew it was that day. I knew I was getting my diet. It was that day. It was like something shifted in the spiritual because wow. I felt my heart beat. And I knew that if, for example, I don't know if somebody held my marriage in the spiritual realm. <laughs> but if somebody held my marriage in the spiritual realm, that, that was, was the day it broke. Mm. I knew. And I knew for a fact that I was going to get married. And from that day, we used to have my reason meeting every Sunday in yes, church that day. Yes. From that day, they would tell me, oh, I'll tell them, see, I'm getting married this year. I don't have time for long meetings because I was the head of Rhyme and Reason. I'll tell them, see, I'm getting married. I don't have time for long meetings. I want to go and meet my boyfriend. I was going, I didn't have any, I didn't have any. I, he was there. The guy was there, but he wasn't my boyfriend. Yeah. I'm getting married this year. Go. See, my introduction is sometime this year. I'm going. There was nothing. But I just used to see, like, I just used to see it as a matter of fact. And for me, I knew that it wasn't desperation, it wasn't mm. anything, and it was a ma I was just speaking what was already in existence. So God just wanted me to align yeah. my words and everything with it. But how do you differentiate desperation from actually it has happened, yeah. God is the one that is actually yeah. shifting me yeah. towards this direction. Thank you. Thank you for saying alignment. I was yes. say. my, my scripture when I was single that I used to that I used to say a lot, and many people knew me, at least people that knew me knew my favorite scripture was Psalm 37, verse 4 to 5. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he will grant you the desires of your heart. Trust also in him, and he will bring it to pass. The more I meditated on this scripture, the more I saw that, you know, because I used to say, God said, I delight myself in you, you grant me the desires of my heart. I realized that when you delight yourself in the Lord, your desires begin to align yeah, with his desires. Yeah. So what he brings to pass is what his will yes. is and what he desires. Yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Yes. So it's a win-win situation. Yes. So it's almost like if I hang out with you, yes. lot. so you like purple, I like green. Yes. But the more I hang out with yes. you, the more I just like everything yes. about you. I begin to like, like purple naturally. Like. Yes. Not because I'm forcing yes. myself. So yes. when you yes. now give me purple, just because you already like yes. me. Yes. So you already think, ah, you, I just yes. have purple in mind. I get yes. to know because now, because of my relationship is yes. closer wow. to you, wow. I am wow. now in, in line. So it's wow. easier for you to see things wow. my way. So wow. when you're praying, your timing wow. is my timing. My wow. The kind of man you like is the kind of man I like. You understand? Because you're now in my, you now, you now like. My wow. So your focus is not on the marriage yes. or what it's it because you have been aligned. Yes. So he now gave you that desire. Yeah. So this, my wow. desires now match his desire wow. because wow. I delighted myself wow. in him. As you build wow. yourself and your wow. relationship with God, there's no how the things wow. your, your appetites will change. change. Wow. Your, your desires wow. will change. Wow. The things that are important will change. Wow. You begin to see that it aligns more wow. with what God wants wow. for you. Really. Thank you. So, so it's what we are focusing on. Yes. We are focusing on God, yes. not the marriage, yes. not the man. So I was wow. focusing on God with wow. the idea that okay, by that, yeah. I'm, I'm doing this. I would have done it anyway, yes. but I'm doing this so I know you give me yes. my heart desire. Yes. I want a man like X, wow. Y, Z. Wow. But 
you know, in doing that, it wow. was a win-win. Wow. It's a win-win wow. situation. I was wow. in, so when he brought the man, wow. it was easier wow. for me to see him, to wow. know him, wow. to walk into it, to align with his timing because I was my desires and him. He's where he's like married couples, wow. for instance. You know, after a while, when you get married, yes. you start liking the same thing. Someone yes. was excusing me yes. online um, that I now like Arsenal. Wow. In my wildest wow. imagination, and because I was a Man U fan confirmed. Wow. I know Man U and Arsenal have yes, a lot of time. Yeah, Who have gone mad as I keep yours to myself? <laughs> because I'm not so into football as much as my yeah, husband is, but yeah. and I see the joy that Arsenal oh. brings him. Of course, because I, I love him. I yes, want him. So yes. I love Arsenal. So when they win, oh. little by little, I'll be excited. Oh. Now I'm a full gunner. Oh. So. I think I now understand better because my pastor is always, shout out to Pastor Paul, he's always talking about this particular scripture. But like you are people, um, like shed more light on it because he's always saying, you delight yourself in the Lord and it will give you what to desire. Exactly. That is so that is. now you have said that That's you have even made it That's more it. practical that you delight yourself in the Lord and you will not start liking what God yes. likes for you. Yes. you wow. Know, all those things about wow. those little things. Wow. So now let me now go to the question of so that, that I want to talk about alignment. Yeah. So now desperation. Wow. One of the things I had to get to a point was yeah. that if I mean I used to say people used to be like, ah, even if I didn't get oh, married. you've hit it. I will tell you, you have hit it. Said that even if I didn't get married, wow. I knew I was sold. Wow. I will tell God wow. I may not be happy oh, wow. with you, but wow. I will still love you. Wow. I'm not going anywhere. You understand? So, I stop making marriage an idol. Oh my gosh. Stop making marriage an idol. So, my, my life, when people saw, in fact, the year I got married, yeah. the year, the few months preceding that, yeah. I started getting invitations to come and talk about joy in singlehood wow. that's how joyful i was yes. i was like you know people, yes. if i really was not yes. you know people were telling me that you know come and talk to singles how yes. to wait well because yes. i was waiting with joy jo- I, wow. nobody would even know that wow. so i wasn't looking for long i didn't stop my life that no, oh no, i'm not no, married no, again no, no, my no. friends are getting married i'm no, sad eh? no. my friends are getting married i was happy because oh, they're getting married my sister got married in october yes, i was yes. so we were looking I, like, I was, like, I was supposed sister. to go for her wedding you remember yes, that even i was supposed to go so i didn't go for her wedding yeah because you didn't go anymore you know i was there when you Yes, 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 I remember. Yes, I remember. Yes, yes, you were know, you 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 expecting, weren't you? At that time, but Nigeria just had a baby. It was October. No, October. When did she get married? Twenty twenty sixteen. Sixteen. Yes. yes, it was. I was sick. That was my last vacation as a single person. Ooh, so we're supposed to few months. Yes, after her. So we're supposed to meet at her wedding. Yes, that yes, you couldn't yes, make it again. Yes, yes. yes sorry, I remember. Guys. <laughs> she has forgotten yeah, all the all the. So I can't even believe we got married yes. um, close. So by the time because when we got you know why I can't believe it because when you were getting married I had no vision of because marriage. when we were when I was. A few weeks ago when I was getting married, we were ha- we had a very long conversation at Kevin's bridal shower. Yes, yes, Remember you know, that there was nothing. There was no. So that's why it looks like a very long time. Like, there was just one year apart. So that's how. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't jealous. I was always excited with yeah. people getting married. Yeah. I wasn't, and it wasn't coming from a place of fake, like, fake, no, fake, fake it happiness. It was joy. Yeah. I celebrated it. Yeah. I did. Yeah. In fact, now when people say that you miss your single days, I say, what am I missing? I squeeze the singleness yeah. out of it, yes. so I don't miss it. That's what I always tell you, please leave. Don't be looking forward to getting married that you forget to leave. So I really did that. You know, you get invited, come yes. and tell us how to wait in your singlehood. Yes. I'm like, ah. Uh-uh. So when I was, was trying to get married, people that was now invited, as if God was now doing um, um, send forth for me in the last year to just ask me to speak to women when I was still thinking about how to wait joyfully. So yeah, that was one. Then number two, how I knew it was not desperation as well. How you know is that it didn't mean I was going to compromise. Mm. I desired it, mm. but so people will come to me and say, "Ah, you maybe are too picky." I'm like, "This is a mm. destiny defining yes, decision." Yes. My sisters, yes. be picky, yes. especially picky in the right way. Don't yes. apologize for you, you being. being picky, so yeah. they're like, "Just yeah, to only see you at this, just to be trying to match make me." It wasn't for lack of suitors that I wasn't getting married, you know, by the grace of God. But the serious ones weren't. They, so they were just not it. I just yeah. tell people that. The way I know is the inner peace. I will know. I'll tell him I'll know when it's, he's the one. I wasn't. I didn't want to settle. I wanted God's best, and I was willing to wait. I wanted to get married, but I was willing to wait. I hope you understand the oxymoron or the irony of that. Yeah, I was. I wanted to get married, but I was willing to wait. I wasn't going to compromise. I wasn't going to do anything to get a man. You know, sleep with him. I had, you know, already what I told God I wanted, and I wanted it God's way. However much long it took, so I'll just bring to him that let the his way be a short time. Right. I, I, I wasn't 
trying to make you know get into a man and make sure that he position myself that at this one in quite said I want to get married this year. And guess what? As much as I wanted to get married, if it didn't happen that year, it wouldn't have been the end. As much as I asked God that oh I wanted to get married this year's birthday, like I told you, it didn't come in my eyes on my birthday. I didn't die. I initially I was sad, like oh God disappointed me. I thought I was so sure. But I, I moved on, I celebrated, I was so happy, so thank God I never lost my joy. I wasn't, mm. there were days of course I was mm. sad, there were days I felt like it was delaying, but I didn't lose my joy, I didn't lose, I served God, I didn't mm. lose, I did a lot of things by mm. the grace of God. So mm. yeah, that's one, so that's, so there's a big difference between mm. the special and desire, mm. and that's why I said, mm. can I have a desire for mm. something? So if I have a desire for a, if I like a mm. nice bag, mm. I won't go and steal to get the mm. bag. That's desperation. Mm. I won't go, I won't, it wouldn't be whatever measure it would mm. take to get mm. it. That's no, I wouldn't. Mm. I won't go against the word of God mm. just to get it. I won't manipulate God's word. We're gonna stop right here right now. And we are gonna see in the part two of our one year marriage miracle. Mm. Just make sure you're subscribed to this YouTube channel. So and click on the notification bell so you can see when the next episode is out. And I'm sure it's gonna be out in like the next week or next week. But don't worry, just click on the notification Stay bell. Tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs>